we we ran down and uh, we got the other box into uh, UPS. Um, <laughs> it's funny you call them and they say that they're actually operating today on Columbus Day weekend. Um, up here in the east is a lot different than a lot of other places in the country. And uh, I think if somebody farts, they make a holiday or a day off around here. And uh, it is hard to deal with at times. The doors were open. I saw one person in the whole UPS thing. Trucks were parked all over the place and there was cars in the parking lot. Half of what I normally see on a working day. So how much they're actually open, it's hard to say. Uh, anyhow, we did get that package off to uh, Zeb down in Florida. Excuse me. And uh, this leads us to uh, the next uh, uh, project here. And this mail project came from New York. All right. And um, this also, I, I ripped this off immediately because when, when I got the box, very similar to Zeb's box that he shipped up in. Does that really sound like it's a secure package in there? Okay. Um, <laughs> it did make it up here though, okay? And this is a lower steady rest part and very lucky that these two items actually stayed in the box. Okay. And these are the two jack screws that go in here like this. Alright. And this is the last minute note here. He called me, so I had a little chuckle on this as well. Sorry for the for this, Keith. I dropped the letter I was going to send with <laughs> Tony. Um, uh, it's hard to read your name on here, and I don't want to mispronounce it, Tony. Uh, consolidated Machine, 35 uh, uh, Circuit Road, I believe. Circuit Road, um, New York. All right, um, so and he gave me his email and stuff down here. Pretty much I talked to him on the phone and what we're going to be doing is, we this is snapped off, this is a cast in here. So there was an ear here and then there was a fold over and this is very similar. I don't actually have a steady rest for my, um, my little south bin, but that's what this is off of I believe. Even though I don't see south bin name on it and they usually put their name all over things. And, uh, and I don't see it on here at all, or even a casting number. But, uh, you know, I'd be kind of curious because I'm going to put this on mine as well um, and see if it lines up. And then I got some kind of idea. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do, he would like to have little rollers on this. And I'm going to see what we can do. All right, we're... <clears throat> We're finally getting to make a pattern here and we can we're in we're in the machine shop area here instead of sitting out there in front of the plasma cam where we're actually gonna make the part or at least start making the part. But this is the steady rest here off of a little south bin. In fact, uh, I'll put it on the south bin a, a little later, but I, I did set it there and it matches up with mine as well. So I think while I'm doing this, I'm gonna be making a pattern to go ahead and create or come up with some kind of a steady rest for my south bin as well. Now, this is broken right here and the top part is missing. Now we have to manufacture an ear, repair this, create a joint for an ear to fold over and then clamp down here. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the missing foot for the top and we're gonna go ahead and make them rollers. Uh, this is gonna be some kind of a bearing to give us rollers on these three points. And that's kind of what we're starting with right now. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull these bolts out so that we can lay this down on this yellow hard uh, manila type paper here and create a pattern. All right, we dressed up our uh, carpenter pencil here. It's kind of what we call it anyway. Um, just so we can get a, a closer outline. as true as we can get it down here. Give it a sight straight down and uh, your lines are pretty good.
so this part right in here is what we need to create the cutout. All right, now we know that we're going to be having to braise this, and this this is a small part. So <clears throat> this braise, there's no way. I mean, we got to keep we got to keep the slide or guide right here. Okay, that, we got to maintain that right there. Well, we got we got some carbon blocks in there, and we're going to be able to dam and puddle braise this. Now, this is not just going to be walling a little tab on here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to put this in the wood stove right now, and I'm going to bake all the oils and everything else out of here, um, so that I can create a good bond with bronze alloy brazing rod, and I'm going to braze this 100% and then machine this to be the replace the ear. The other top half there, we're gonna go do some plasma cutting and some other uh, creative welding and slugs that are gonna create the pocket for the top and that. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and get this in the wood stove and uh, you know, kind of get it prepped up for working with. So this is kind of our way of cleaning this. even throw it in there but we want to go ahead and wire brush it we might rotary burr some prep out some areas and uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and build up and braise up that that uh, that surface all right I set this up on the uh, bridge port table here so I can roll this back and you get a good angle here and uh, you can see all the paints burned off of this thing and it looks pretty um, crispy crittered um, but it's all it's all like powder so I'm gonna go in and take a wire wheel and uh, break all the stuff off of here uh, so it's clean and you can see our break here that we're gonna be taking the rotary burr and cleaning that up and then we're gonna be laying in a piece of carbon in here carbon block and we'll be holding that in there some way to make the dam and we're gonna create a dam and we're gonna build that out now here's some fun I mean it's slightly powdered, but that never sees that was slipped in these areas right here is still almost a never sees color, but it's somewhat powdered. But that stuff is durable. You know, they do make a couple of different uh, ratings of of never sees. They have a copper that you put on for your uh, exhaust studs and components and gaskets and stuff like that. And uh, a couple different ratings with the uh, the nickel as well. So anyway, this this came out real nice. It is clean, meaning it's oil free. And uh, we're gonna get in there and and uh, finish prepping it. And we're also we already got the top plate already pretty well drawn out uh, from our trace pattern. Drew it into the plasma cam, and I got something. We're gonna go in there and uh, we're gonna play with this, and we're gonna cut out the first plate for the top. And maybe even some of the other stuff. We'll see how far we get today. You know, I had I had to chuckle because <laughs> most of the time when it comes to repair, it's got to look worse before it starts looking better, right? Is that what the saying is? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and head in the other room. We've drawn this out right here, and we've drawn the missing part up here. And it's kind of an outline here because we really don't, we don't have a steady rest for our own 
south bend here in the shop so this is going to be you know we're doing a repair right here for a mail call project and it's uh, replaced the missing and and build this up but this is also kind of a guideline here for the steady rest to be made for that um, so we're kind of playing around we do have the top half of this drawn out on the plasma cam we created that yesterday while this was cooling down and I've got a piece of quarter inch plate here and a quarter inch plate is basically going to be this web right here all right and that web's going to be on this side here now we part of that web will be removed and we'll and we'll have to come in because your hinge point your hinge point is going to be in this ballpark right here all right that's it you know that's where it's got a hinge up here and this is your bolt and this will be coming up over this section right here so we're going to be doing some lamination in here and also we're going to be doing something that's going to be creating the box for the slide to go through this right here on the contact so anyway let's get to uh, let's get to cutting out this plate here and creating at least the shape where we can go ahead before we start building this ear up here we want to kind of just like put it on there and get the visual really helps in the project you get a visual right off the bat I and mean, we had one here with the CAD all right this is quarter inch plate and we're using 60 amp uh, tip and also current on our machine uh, we're gonna pierce at about 190 and we're gonna have a cut height of about uh, an eighth of an inch one 124 is what I punched in there and we're gonna pierce about one inch pierce time so that we make sure we initiate a full drop through the plate before it starts its cut and we're gonna feed this at 40 inches a minute to try to get a nice clean finish that we don't have to mess with at all on the outside all right here we go Very little dross on the back anyway. Nice, I like that, I like that finish there. We do have, well, it's kind of hard to say because it looks really good in some areas and we have just a little bit of a flare out on the other, but that's, uh, you know, it's, it's no biggie. All right, let's let that cool for a couple minutes and then we're gonna put it on the part and see how it looks. All right, we went in the other room there and we, uh, we grabbed our, uh, the nut that went on here and, uh, and the washer. At least I think uh, we can probably just set this thing right on here, right next to that bolt right there. And we should be able to kind of like just fake it there, something like that. There, right? Maybe if I get behind here, the screen will get a little bit better there. Um, now, we know that this is in line with this over here, and this will have to jog over to this other side, so there's going to have to be some modifications in here. Also, we know that this, if this is on this outside face, this is going to have to be opened up here uh, for the most part because it is, um, 
the guide for the jaw all right um, so this might <clears throat> this might actually have to be on that hole on the other side there and some kind of a modification in here but you know but anyway this gives us our outline shape here and our height that we're gonna have to build this up and that is almost gonna have to come straight up to about that height right there all right here's a look at it from this side here and you can see that we're gonna have the cutouts here so this really is gonna be back somewhat <laughs> because there's no way that we'll be able to actually have this out here and have this completely cut out um, we do have a slug on the end here that has to be put in and a couple other things so we're gonna probably be making this in several different sections and not one solid piece right here and we're probably gonna have some like short add-ons and this is gonna be basically a stack up on each side but this gives us an, uh, an idea of how far we're gonna build that braze up alright so I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side. We're going to start setting this piece up here. And we're probably going to go put this in the oven, uh, in, the, in the wood stove for a little bit. And after I rotary burr and prep this whole area right here. And we're going to let it preheat as a whole. And then we're going to bring it. We're going to wrap the bottom in a, in a blanket. We're going to lay our piece of carbon in here. And we're going to start braze building this area right here. And then we're going to take and we're going to put the carbon and on this side here we're gonna get some special spacers kinda of hold this plate out here and we're gonna build that ear up and then we'll be able to clamp this down in the mill and we'll be able to mill and shape what we need to shape out for this ear in this hole right here and then we can finish building the top okay what we're doing here is we're kinda of like laying this down on the table we want, we want to be able to put down its regular fitting right there kind of like drop this down and this is our piece of carbon and that fits right underneath there with this eighth inch here that actually lets it almost hang right underneath that lip we'll be able to build out here a little bit without coming above this surface right here and then we'll be able to take this and now we're going to go ahead and make something that where we can go ahead and hold that like that after we, we get that plate laid down there and we want to go ahead and we've got to now we got to plan somehow we got to hold that piece right there so we can build up from that surface up you know once we set that up also we'll, we'll clamp this angle in here and we can slip this in here and we can ask, access that area from that direction as well so trying to get this laid on here and keep both of these areas here supportive of the brass buildup and material with minimum overlap or overhang we're trying to use it to shape uh, we may have to come in and what I call backwash uh, your weld on the other side seal seal the laps where one weld will come down to it but because they're next to a piece of material surface tension kind of holds a little gap in there surface tension is caused by uh, difference in temperatures coolness one one molten bead matching another one even though you think you got it uh, blending right next to each other they tend to hold themselves apart and then they cool at that point and so it is even though it's molten material there's certain surface surface tension like pouring a glass of milk the milk level is not what you see on the edge of the glass because surface tension brings that up on the edge of the glass okay so the the, the level and that's what one molten bead will do next to another one even though you think you got it melted right in there all right we got our work area kind of cleared out we're going to rotary burr i like this oh half inch rotary burr right here we're going to come in here we're going to polish this area that we're going to actually join the braze material to it All right, now we got that all clean right there. Now we gotta go ahead and we're gonna just take and smooth all the other little areas that it's gonna join to. 
except for that machine surface there and that machine surface there. We're going to take and we're just going to take some paper and polish that up. But this rough casting, that's where we want to go ahead and just give it a little gloss. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go put this in the fire and we're going to preheat this and uh, we're going to get our temp sticks and stuff like that ready. Alright, now this part is pretty warm and we brought it out and uh, been in the stove. Now we're melting at 550 degrees over here but we're not at a thousand so we're in a pretty good warm temperature here and it's uniform all over the place. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put up this angle here and just trying to get something here so I'm not so hot. I just want to make sure the main bonding area is right down the virgin um, material there because the, the fire may have sooted up or um, you know had some other other possibilities of contamination in it anyways. Now we're putting this on here just for balance, weight balance so that it uh, it wants to more or less stand up straight here. There we go. Okay. Now we're just going to add this blanket around so we can control the heat a little bit around the base. It's 550. Okay, we started cooling down below 550. All right, let's get the temperature up now. the temperature here now. This is, this is a thousand stick and it's just starting to melt a bit. The 550 already does. Okay, so we're about 900 right there. Right. comfortable now. We're going to drop a little flush on the end of the rod here. I've got to bring that to almost a cherry red. I'm spreading the flux all around. Starting to lay it so it folds over that that uh, carbon piece there, creating the mold for the bronze to flow on. I'm working. 
working that face over here. You gotta come out this way a little bit more. adding in a little bit of the blue flux. shoulder right there that we got to put the next piece of car you know when we go take this over and put that carbon there so I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get that filled in right there all right now we're gonna lay it down we're gonna build that plate out All right, I just kind of brought, brought you around there because we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to be breaking this down. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab this piece of carbon, pull this out. All right. All right, and I'm going to set that over there for a minute. All right, and this is the counterweight. again and this is this is pretty hot but over this section here so it stays warm but this is going to be our template right here and we know that we're going to have to build that out here so we're going to carry that amount of brass right there up here around there um let me see if, i don't know if this, this stone here will like that first thing we're going to do is we're going to reach underneath there and we're going to grab grab that brass all right and then we'll be able to hold this up here and hand shape that out there 
Alright, neat. 